In this episode, I will watch his production videos and won't highlight some selected moments. Chalkwalk Music will do the same with my production videos, so please have a look on his React 2 video to see his perspective on my approach. I want to thank Chalkwalk Music for this really nice idea and collaboration. It was fun and very inspiring while watching his former videos and creating the sounds for this video. So, but let's get started. Hello and welcome to the next episode of my Sound Design Here Create series. This is Project 4, Pines Fog, Episode 1, Think in the scene. So maybe I'm going to record some breathing, I'm going to make some footstep sounds or something else, just a hint at their presence. So I think that's enough in the way of ideas, so let's move on to turning those ideas into something more concrete. These are usually done on a synthesizer, but you may note that this is not a synthesizer here today. This is an Ableton Push 1. Well, you may think, a Linux user, why are they using Ableton? Well, it turns out that um, thanks to great work on a piece of uh, an extension for Bitwig called Driven by Moss, you get pretty good support for various hardware controllers, including the Push, in Bitwig, so I'm going to be using Bitwig today. Well, yeah, that's a good opportunity to to say again that uh, this uh, Jürgen Moosgraber, who is uh, programming the Driven by Moss extension for Bitwig and um, Cocos Reaper, um, is a really great thing. And send some thanks to uh, Jürgen for creating this really great piece of uh, software. Thank you very much. Thank you. The other thing I'm going to be doing today is using presets. So I'm not going to be designing the sounds, but I'm going to be picking preset sounds. And you may think, well, if you're somebody who really focuses on sound design, do you use presets? So I thought I'd answer that while I'm here. The answer is certainly yes. And I use them in various contexts. Taking presets for, um, for your music or for music in general is a great thing if it fits for the music. Mostly have to adopt it in a way and for sound design it's a very interesting option. I didn't think about that. So but let's see. So now I'm going to go to the trees sound. Um, this I know I want something arpeggiated. So my first thought was something that's like a plug. So I'm thinking so funny with the trees because I had a similar idea with the trees and plugs and uh, I had something like uh, wind chimes in, in mind what is a little bit um, similar to the plugs and the arpeggiator. <laughs> thinking pluck, I'm thinking um, been arpeggiated, so monophonic is good and clean is good. I'm thinking I want this to be quite contrasting to this texture, so let's just... Sounds good. wanted to have a sound that was maybe brighter and reflected that so I'm going to use hopefully those leaf sounds walking or poking some other grass here's another uh, leafy ground that I walked over moving on more leaves more crunching uh, here's the other um, brushing the grass backwards and forwards that I mentioned this is really nice just taking um, the sounds from the real world. Really cool, I like that. It's probably not worth grabbing both because I'm looking to do something like, uh, I'm gonna load this into a sampler and do some sort of granular process. So I'm just going to commit and go for the concrete leaves. I like this because um, at some point you need to take some decisions and the um, earlier you do that, um, the better it is for, for the project because you 
don't have to vary between oh is this better or is that better i like i like this approach very much in the beginning i had the impression it sounds kind of waterish sound but that fits perfect because uh, in the forest or near the woods there are always some rivers or something like that there could be a nearby river that's sounding together with all the the wood sounds and all the ambient space and stuff really like that And you get the impression with the footsteps <laughs> and the camera moving up and down. This could be the original sound, so <laughs> that's really great. I don't know if that's going to be an appropriate rate. Similar sound. I was creating with the search synthesizer. Um, yeah, but let's see where it leads to. That works. I'm gonna try and hit play just on the beat here. Should have probably hit record there. <laughs> I can reveal what I will be doing the rest of my sound design in. I'm going to disable monitoring, so hopefully you can't hear that anymore. My sound design is going to be done in pigments. Overall, that's working. I think that tree, the tree sound is going to need some processing, so that's something. For mm, that sounds nice. Okay, so. I like how the mood changed. In the beginning, without all the music, it, it was kind of scary. So like lost in the woods, but now it gets more like the forest is your friend. <laughs> so that main rising pad, let's start now. It's beautiful. That's pigments. Definitely has more texture. It has more texture, but I like it in the lower frequencies because I don't know, it gives me more feeling of being huge, but let's see. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sidechain the pigment sound it's going to be ducking when the tree sound comes in. Uh, this is known as the common tree tucking technique. So let's see the results. That's quite cool. I really like it. The whole scenery is like a magical forest, like um, in a movie. In contrast to my approach, this is far more musical, a more equal balance 
between sounds and noise of the forest and the movie score like this yeah um, my approach in contrast has more focus on the ambient noise of the forest with a very quiet score underlying sure a lot noise uh, similar but um, that's the nature of the nature aka forest <laughs> It would have been weird if there are car tires squeaking or other road noises, that, uh, but that was a lot of fun. So many thanks at this point um, to Chalkwalk Music for this wonderful idea to start such a series and giving me the chance to be um, part of this collaboration. I think this wasn't the last time doing such a project and I'm um, excited to see what we are going to do next. And um, thank you very much as well to you, the viewers, for being interested in watching how we started to create that ambience for a silent movie. Um, and yeah, it would be interesting for me to know what you think about it and what you like to see as an ex experiment. So um, thank you very much for watching. Stay healthy. See you. Ciao, ciao.